The Duchesses of Cambridge and Sussex squashed feud rumours by putting on a united display on Christmas Day, but now eagle-eyed royal fans have spotted another potential source of tension. Footage of the couples leaving St. Mary Magdalene Church at Sandringham, posted to Instagram, appears to show Meghan turning to William to engage him in conversation. However, the future king didn't catch her eye and instead was intent on fixing his scarf, which he continually fidgeted with before getting into the waiting car. And some were convinced it was proof of William, 36, giving his pregnant sister-in-law the cold shoulder. Harry and William have reportedly experienced tensions in their relationship over the past year after the elder brother questioned whether Meghan was a suitable wife for his sibling. Previously, the Mail on Sunday learned from one of William's closest friends that the prince had doubts about how suitable Meghan might be as his brother's bride, and that he voiced them. It is understood William's concerns reached the ears of the Queen and, more pertinently, of Harry himself. One member of William's circle told him most, the problem is that the Cambridges felt things had moved very quickly between Harry and Meghan. Wills particularly was worried and felt close enough to Harry to voice his thoughts. Previously, it was thought that the main source of tension between the two couples stemmed from Meghan and Kate not getting on. However, the pair are said to have been ordered by the Queen to put on a show of unity together at the Christmas Day church service in Sandringham. Her Royal Highness and Prince Charles allegedly made it clear that any rift between the two duchesses must be kept out of the public eye as they arrived together at the St. Mary Magdalene Church. The two appeared to take the advice on board as they were seen laughing and joking while photographers captured the pair walking towards the church. A source told The Sun, the Queen and Charles have allowed the situation to play out without overtly interfering but they both made it clear that Christmas was for the whole family to really come together. That meant the two couples walking into church together as the Fab Four just like they had last year. Yes, it was awkward and uncomfortable given what's gone on over the past 12 months. But the alternative of even more negativity on Christmas Day wasn't worth thinking about. The Queen allegedly told Kate and pregnant Meghan to put their differences aside by the time they sat down to watch her speech along with the rest of the nation at 3 p.m. on BBC. Rumours of the feud surfaced when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced they were moving out of Kensington Palace to live in Frogmore House in Windsor. There were also reports of a falling out between Meghan and Kate during Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress fitting before the royal wedding earlier this year.